right, so what is hip to happen, click and clack in YouTube? As you can see, we have a plethora of factory team, stealth X drive gear, machine steel gear upgrade for the Wraith transmission. Well, not for the Wraith, well, for the Wraith transmission, but for the Element Stealth X transmission. Uh, I'm going to be tearing this thing down. Uh, pulling the guts out of it, figuring my overdrive setup, and then going through and greasing everything up. We picked up Steve's holding the hot racing aluminum transmission case here. There's a part number, EDR3801. For anyone that's interested, now I don't know how the quality is. We'll go ahead and open it up here and look. As soon as I dig through all these other packages, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we'll just go ahead and open this bad boy up. So, comes with your hardware. It looks like for a assembly. Uh, looks pretty nice. Pretty nice looking case. Not heavy at all. It's not heavy. Um, wow. Not even a little heavy. It's machined together here really nice. Um, it's got a little lip that goes around that it's, it sets and kind of locks into without any screw, the screws or anything in it. It lines up nicely. There's no gaps. Now, this is with no gears or bearings or anything like that in it. Uh, it's got a nice little polished machine. You know, much like most of the hot racing stuff. I don't know if this is 70. It's probably 60. It's a transmission case. It's not taking a beating. Um, threaded. I know these would pop out of the SCX-10 style. This is a solid piece. That's a solid piece on the original. So, looks like. Now, I was going to get the Artful Dodgers. They make a smaller motor plate, but I started looking. The SE Fusion that I'm running is a little bigger than a 540 can, so it wouldn't have done me any good to go with the Artful Dodgers plate, motor mount plate. Um, everything else looks really nice quality here. Let me turn it around the right way. Geez, a whiz. Uh, looks like same... Machine down size. It's a shame you're not going to be able to see this because this, this billet of aluminum is pretty nice. I don't see it's got all the same screw holes in the same positions. Um, so, yeah, I just didn't want to run the plastic case. I figured put some bling bling, even though you're not going to be able to see it. It would be just nice to have this. This weighs absolutely hardly anything at all. I can't see it being heavier, much heavier than the plastic. We'll see if it'll weigh it. We'll see if we can weigh it. We'll see if we can weigh it. Beetle. We'll see if we can weigh it. There we go. It's turned on now. So. Uh, we'll lay it down. It weighs 40 grams. For the case. Now obviously this has gears and everything in it. But. This one weighs 185. I don't know what the factory empty case is. I'll weigh that in another video. I just wanted to share this stuff. Probably going to get heavy anyhow. Now, of course, we're not going to be using all three of those gears. I need to figure out. This is the element. Uh, this is the factory team uh, parts. <clears throat> I, did, I was going to go with the hot racing gears for this. Um, but... I always like the factory team stuff. So I went ahead and got the factory team stuff. And then it's the whole set. That's your drive gears. And then that's your idler gear. So I can run their factory team gear set. You know, and I'll figure out which ones I need for the most overdrive. I'm going to have to get the manual downloaded. So I can get this bad boy together. Um, I'm not going to tear that apart until I figure out what gears I need to run and where. And then you just use the remainder of the Palutra of you know items like your shaft and stuff like that your shafts and your bearings and everything into this case this is brand new this came off a brand new rtr takeoff 
So this is what I'm going to be working on next because I want to get this bad boy together. Um, that's why I wanted to get this video done so I can start assembling some things. So we're going to put this stuff all together. Here's your part numbers for your factory team stuff. Uh, this is the drive gear. Comes with all three, whatever you're going to run, gear set. 420, 32. This is your idler gear set. As far as I know, this is all I should need. 42031. And that should pretty much... <laughs> I can't see breaking these. Um, not me. Somebody else might. That drives like they're on crack. But I don't drive like I'm on crack. <clears throat> so, that's what we got right here. Now, in this video... We're going to go ahead and I'm going to break down these axles a little bit here. So we're going to move the wraith a little closer. I'm going to try to go through this kind of quick. Um, so what we've done here, what I've ran into, the first issue that per se that I've came into contact with, rear, first off the gear mesh was spot on perfect, running about midways contact wise on my ring and pinion on both front and rear so i can't see having any kind of issues with any you didn't need shimmed or anything everything was pretty tight but everything rolls nice and smoothly you can see here it just it really does roll smoothly front rear runs just as smooth there's no grinding it's pretty quiet they're helical cut gears <clears throat> um the AR44s do fit in here, so you can take the guts out of the AR44s. That's why I'm not really too worried. And you can slap the guts out of the AR44s into these houses, so that's no big deal. I have a complete rebuild there if I tear these up with the AR44 housings. But I'm kind of hoping these hold up because I want to take those AR44s and throw all that stuff, since they're very minimal use, into a set of SSD diamond housings and keep them as a spare. Uh, for this later on down the road that way they're ready to go because I plan on running I plan on running the crap out of this This is going to be one of my main rigs um, That's why I'm setting it up as good as I possibly can. I know somebody would say why don't you put the rock jocks in that instead of the knock jocks? Well because I wasn't taken out alone in a second mortgage to buy a set of empty axle houses um so Getting into this right here Okie dokie you have I don't know. I might be able to see it better from this angle or the dangle with the jangle. So you can see here, maybe. <clears throat> let me get a. Let me get something to point with. I don't have one of them fancy finger hands. You'll see here. There's a polished stainless lock nylon lock nut right here on the bottom of my axle stub axle. Let me get up in there a little better. It's right there. So. No, it does not hinder anything. She moves. She spins. No grindage. No rubbing. Clears the axles. No problems. No issues with that. So these steering knuckles up top here and everything, they're bushing. They have a little bushing that's built into. I couldn't get it out. It looks like a pressed in bushing. Um, and I tried with the factory hardware that it was supplied with. Uh, I tried with, which I thought would be a shouldered bolt, but it wasn't a shouldered bolt. It was threaded all the way through. So tighten it, tightening them, lock tightening them, and just tightening them down, thinking that it would that screw would run on that bushing. It won't. It wouldn't steer at all. It was like locked. So by the time you loosen these up. To the point to where you got proper steering. Boop, 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 boop. You run into... The screws are just going to back out on you. They're going to fall out on the trail. I don't care what kind of Loctite you put on them. You can Loctite them with blue. You can Loctite them with red. You can put them with whatever. Permanent. You can do whatever. It's a no, no comprende. Okay? It's not going to work. Um, it just... It was not gonna work so I've had a longer 
longer screws. Now these two screws are from an RC full wheel drop case, so it's all metal and metal. But I can't believe I made this climb a second ago. It's super cold down here. It's gonna make me a liar now. Nope. slow and steady she's making the climb there's no weight in this rig just the desert lizard set up how I like them everything there's no hardly any lift 